What's up YouTube? It's Gemini and I get asked this question a lot offline on the air and I figure I'd just do a video just to show you guys visually instead of just you know taking my word for it why the hell do I choose ball lightning over arc? So if we look at these gems together they're 1920 so it's it's safe to say that we can compare the two pretty accurately. This one's about to level up but it won't level up during the testing. So ball lightning is classified as a projectile. Projectile, whereas arc isn't. Arc still scales through crit chance and uh, crit multiplier. You know that I have globally. It also they also benefit from cold-hearted calculation spell damage. However, ball lightning is a projectile and it benefits off my projectile damage nodes. We have projectile damage here, ten five five. We have ten twenty ten. And we have uh, Ballistic Mastery. This is another 15. And then we have 10 here, 30 or 20 here for a total of 30 in this Duelist area. Also, we could get projectile damage on jewels, but I don't have them. Um, I don't have projectile damage on my current jewels. Uh, yeah, we are using Inspired Learning, but that's besides the point. What I wanted to show you guys was the distinct testing. So we get 100 and... 123 or it was 113 113 percent projectile damage which helps ball lightning we're gonna start off by using arc now if we look at the X to Y on arc it's actually pretty good How, however there are limitations not only in range but the amount of targets that it can hit so the, the nature of arc is it hits a target and chains five times Whereas ball lightning will just go out and out and you know just hit so many targets. So we're just gonna you know roll around with our herald of thunder. It is 1910, so it's quite good. Um, Arc does have slightly higher da damage effectiveness, but we're just gonna go through. And I'm only cocing with this one skill, so you can visually see its damage and capabilities. As the number of targets increase, arc becomes like less effective. And if I'm ranging stuff from really far away, then it'll have a hard time hitting stuff, or it just won't do anything, and it'll be my tornado shot arrows. Again, this is a COC with just the 1920 arc. It's pretty decent when it's a uh, low amount of mobs. And whenever we get to like single target rares, especially ones with have, that have higher HP, it really, really falls off. Right, let's try to find some bigger packs. See, not so great right here. I am getting charges through Dodri's and my Restless Ward combo. It's very limited into what it can do. When it does work, you know, for a clump of mobs, it's great. Alright, so that should give you an idea of what the arc looks like. We're going to switch it up to ball lightning after like a few more packs. I want you really to like remember and keep an idea of like the pace that we're taking. Now, keep in mind, ball lightning acts like a mobile turret. It goes off and it hits multiple times. So while the X to Y might not be impressive, the tooltip on ball lightning has always been small, but it hits, you know, frequently. Alright, let's go ahead and switch to ball lightning now, and let's see the difference. This is the only thing that's changed, is the ball lightning. 
And you guys say, oh, ball lightning doesn't do shit. Why do you use ball lightning? It doesn't do shit. This is only using the spell. Notice it's like going on to attack further packs. It's quite good. And it's like, its range is kind of like, doesn't even compare to arc. It's very, very convenient. 360 sends them flying everywhere. Gets really nice coverage. It's just like a wave, a shock wave. And there's so many balls. It's very, it's it's a lot better on the single target too. When you're considering like a rare one of these Jabba the Hutt guys versus Arc Solo. Let's see if we can find another one of those things solo. Let's run a little bit more testing. We did a lot of arcing. And believe me, man, people come to my channel all day, all day and they always ask this question. I wouldn't be making a video if this wasn't frequently asked. The knockback also synergizes with uh, the ball lightning action. But it's like effortless. I mean really, like it goes to the next pack and starts shocking them, setting them up for really nice fireballs and arctic breaths. The piercing, the fact that it can hit so many targets, it's just great. So hopefully this gives you a, an idea of why I choose ball lightning. And um, yeah, I mean use whatever you want at the end of the day. But the coverage is great. Otherworldly. Anyways, if you guys like this video, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys on stream. Feel free to come to my channel and ask me any questions that you have. Regarding anything about Path of Exile, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Over and out.